Hey everyone, welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're going to focus on a 10 mark theory and method and by the end of this tutorial you will have seen a well-structured paragraph from a student that achieved a top band answer in the 2019 paper, question 5, theory and method. Thank you for choosing this video. If you like what you see, click that like button. Want to see more? Please subscribe. And if you've got something to say, drop me a comment and I'll get back to you. Quick reminder about a 10 mark outline and explain. You should be spending 15 minutes to answer, roughly seven and a half minutes per paragraph. You're looking for two balanced paragraphs. You don't need an intro or a conclusion. It will ask for reasons, ways, effects, problems, strengths, weaknesses, etc., of a particular idea, view, theory or a method. Also look for the question hooks. This question will require you to make the link between two or uh, more aspects of the spec and they will only appear on theory and methods, paper one and three and your topics, paper two. Here is a basic or a generic mark scheme so you can see exactly what you need to do. Focusing on the top band, you need to show good knowledge and understanding and that is through um, key words and concepts which are relevant and any specialist terms may be explained to show that understanding. There will be two applications of relevant material. So linking to the question and lastly, appropriate analysis. Now, as I'm going to explore a past exam question, I'll pop in the link below to a copy of where you can get the actual mark scheme if you want to download download it. The best way to explain good structure in a 10 mark outline and explain is to explore what the question actually is asking you to do and understand where the marks come from. As with a longer answer question, preparation before you start answering is key to ensuring that you understand what the question is asking you. This is really important, the 10 mark outline and explain as you don't want to misunderstand the question. So as with the longer essays, read the question once, read it again a second time, but this time underline the trigger words or the hooks that are placed within the question and use one or two minutes out of the 15 minutes to do a brief plan of ideas. Now this will mean two things. Firstly, you understand the separate parts of the question that you've got to write about and as there are multiple ways of answering it, it means you can choose the two that you write um, most about and show application between the different parts. So why underline? So underlining and highlighting focuses your attention to what the question is actually asking and you can refer to the different parts of the question. And these are the parts of the question from different um, aspects of the spec that the examiner expects you to show application of knowledge. And the aim here is to challenge you to apply knowledge and show wider understanding rather than just chunking um, and learning chunking of A01. So how do we go about structuring an answer for this? Once again, I'm drawing upon a student example from paper three from 2019. And let's have a look at how this student has answered this question. Now, as you can see, this student has written a very chunky paragraph, which should take around seven to eight minutes to write. And the first sentence is important. One reason why sociologist research may not always be objective or value free is due to the influence of values when selecting um, a topic matter. Because she has started her paragraph using the wording from the question and she has clearly stated the first reason. Now, the student is being really explicit to the second part of the question. She's given sociologist, sociologist research and she then applies two examples to support her reason. The first is from feminists such as Oakley and her study of motherhood. And secondly, by interactionist Goldner and the influence of topic matters by social or political influences. And she draws upon a contemporary issue at the time, which was global warming. Remember, this is from the 2019 paper. If she was writing in 2020, 2021, she may have referenced the increase in sociological research into the effects of COVID, for example. And then the student doesn't end there. She makes a specific reference to why it's not always objective. It is fundamentally influenced by the subjectivity of the sociological, theoretical or political interests of those doing the research. She adds a little bit of bonus um, of analysis by suggesting that a lack of objectivity may be unintentional. And she also then suggests that despite this, the methodology used could be objective instead to overcome some of the issues of bias suggested earlier on in the paragraph. So what about the second paragraph? I thought it'd be a good idea to give you some prompts from the mark scheme of paper three, 2019, so you can have a go at writing a second paragraph following the structure I've just gone through. A little bit of a tip, the student's paragraph that I'd uh, taken um, did discuss the methods chosen by interpretivist and why they were not um, objective. 
Here's a quick glance at the examiner report as this question did prove quite difficult or problematic for some students. So hopefully this tutorial does help you out a bit. And the better responses did have an understanding of what objectivity were um, and the stronger answers were able to focus on the influence of researchers preferred perspective like I've just talked about then and they looked at the impact of the factors on methodology for example. So overall, when answering a 10 mark outline and explain, remember to show AO1 knowledge of both parts of the question and show how the different parts of the question affect each other. Offer a further explanation and analytical point to end your paragraph. So as always, massive thank you for watching. If you have found it useful, click that like button. Any questions or comments, please pop them below and have a go at some other 10 markers that, and I've popped the links there for you. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.